you have minimal revelation is if you plug into the power source, which is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Uh, not only is the Lord refining, he is also washing. The launderer's soap, this is like bleach to show uh, Jesus purifying blood of his salvation. In Psalms chapter 51 and verse 7, oh, I love it. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. In 1 John 1 and 7, it says, But if we walk in the light, as he is, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Not some, all sin. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 10. Many will be purified, made spotless, and refined, but the wicked will continue to be wicked. The wicked will continue to be wicked. This process that we're undergoing, this spiritual solitary confinement, was not to produce fear into you uh, of what's going on in the world. It was to produce a fear and reverence of God. He wanted to keep you confined from all the distractions of the world so you could press into his presence. So you would know the true and living God. Not so you would know what's going on on Pennsylvania Avenue. What you should know what's going on in the thoughts and the mind of God. Amen. 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 Tell it. There are four reasons for refining, purging, suffering, whatever you choose to call it. It's all from God. The first is God wants to destroy sin and produce goodness within you. See, We'll never get it because we think we know more than God. Sin has an acronym. It's self-inflicted nonsense. Everything that man did, he did it to himself. You can blame Satan for Eve being beguiled in the garden, but that was a choice because self came into play. Just like it did with Satan. Self. He said, I will be like God. Yeah. Eve, listening to Satan's thoughts, said, I will be like God. Yeah. I. Mm -hmm. There's no I. It's we. Let us make man in our own image and our own likeness. We individually, you know, as far as uh, mindset or whatnot, but collectively, we want, we want body. And the eyes don't have it. The head has it. There's one head. And there's a body with a lot of members. But the members have to su submit to the head. Without the head, there's no body. And the body cannot operate outside of the head. It just makes perfect sense to me. God exposes your sin addictions through suffering. For example, if affliction shows up, in your life, your heart will let it be known. You become full of pride, impatience, and unbelief. You will show it will show its ugly head. Pain has a way of causing pressure to a situation. There's a saying: pressure will burst the pipe. Yeah. Suffering and refining will do the same. If you Love the world. You can't love God. He said you can't love two masters. You can't serve two masters. You know, if, 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 if suffering occurs and you so in love with, I done lost my car. I done lost my job. My health is failing. I'm so persuaded 
of the scripture. I look to the hills from which my help comes. And my help comes from the Lord. I have no other help outside of him. It's a minimal, superficial help. It's temporal. He is an eternal help. Yes. yes, the everlasting God. Yes, the second, to lay down the temporary for the eternal. This is what suffering does. To get you out of a mindset of this, temp this temporal world of what's right now, this microwave generation. Give it to me right now. See, see on, on the very verse behind us in Matthew, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. You need him first. You can't even govern over wealth without a God perspective. You will utterly destroy yourself. I've had money and was the biggest fool in the world until God intervened in my life. Tell it. He said he, he said he he will turn 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 the the uh, uh, intelligent thing of man to foolishness. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know it all. God will make you feel like a complete dummy when you sit there and you've made the biggest mistakes of your life because you didn't listen to him. Oh. Refining causes us to redirect our thoughts, yeah. love, interests <laughs> from this world to an eternal mindset. Set your mind on things above and not things on earth. Yes. Colossians chapter 3 and 2. Uh, with, uh, with the threat of COVID-19, civil war, locusts, new world orders, you better get your priorities together. Yes. Don't be like the rich young ruler. In Matthew 5 and 29, and Jesus said, go home. Sell all your things and follow me. He was real religious, but he had a love for the work. He couldn't sit that money down. When Jesus said to get that up, he went away sad because he loved the world more than he loved his God. The third, to free you from living as a double agent, a hypocrite. A refining process God gives causes the impurities to burn away like the refined fire in Jeremiah 9 and 7. See, suffering will separate the sheep from the goats, yes. the faithful from the faithless. Affliction makes you Hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. For the believer, the hypocrite tries to find relief any way he can to get out of the fire. But a believer, he going to stand. Like it says in verse in the first stanza of, of Malachi. He said to stand. You got to stand in the evil, in the evil day. We had that same, same theme or same wording in. In Ephesians chapter 6, he says, that like, when the evil day comes, above all things, stand. And you can only stand if we have rights. That right now. Tell it. That's the only way we can stand. Outside of that, I can't stand on my own. I'm frail. I am a mere mortal. I am a weak man. But when Christ get involved, my redeemer, I'm more than a conqueror through him who strengthens me. Tell it. That's what happens when we get involved in the affairs of God. Oh, yeah. uh, the fourth and final, to let your light shine, to bear witness. On Thursday night, we had our prayer night and Elder Perry of Columbus, Ohio, and my very own mother, that's, uh, they're both battling cancer. But I'll tell you, they have a gladiator that's fighting the way for them. Amen. And they're winning. Oh, yes. They're winning. They're winning in the battle. But Amen. as they speak and talk about this, this is the testimony of the goodness of God. Amen. See, even in adversity and trial, you cannot do it without God. He helps us in so many ways. 
He changes our minds. Yeah. He kept us from danger seen and unseen. Okay. On the way here, we were, we, we, we were almost in a fatal accident. But God sent charge angels to block that thing. Yeah. He said, you shall live and not die. Yeah. I shall live and not die only because of him. Yeah. Because of the resurrected blood of Christ. See, I understand this thing now. It's not a mystery to me. Previously, I had I had an idea or a thought about God, but see, it's not religion. It's not. It's not. It's not in head knowledge. It's it, it's in my heart. It's in my mind. He's changed me. He makes me see things differently. He makes me live differently. He put a thrill in your soul. He'll make you shake up and down because he is so good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. While under the refining process, the unique power of the gospel is shown that your faith has increased, even under such affliction. This causes people in the world to ask, why do you have this hope? What is this joy that you have? How are you able to live in such traumatic and adverse times and in afflictions in your body, yeah. your finances? In Revelations 12 and 11, it says, and they overcame him by the, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Good. See, because my life is not my own. Amen. I was bought with the price at Calvary's Rugged Cross. Yeah. In closing, I'd like to leave you with these two passages of Scripture. In Romans 15 and 4, it says, For whatever was written in the former days, written for our instruction, that through the endurance and through the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. Yeah. See, this book is not a book. It is alive and active. Yes, sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes, able to divide soul and spirit and joints and marrow. It's able to judge your attitude. Yes, this is alive. See, 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 this is infallible. A lot of people will come up nowadays and want to debate the, 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 the authority of Scripture. We have no other resource that man can live by but by the Bible. Tell it. This is the inerrant, the, the Uwa, the God-breathed, inspired book of God. He had prophets throughout the scriptures that, that, that were like stenographers that took the word by the Holy Spirit and inspired them to write these very doctrines. This is the truth. All scriptures. All scriptures God breathed. In Romans 8 and 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth to be compared with the glory that will be revealed to us through Christ when he comes. See, see, his glory that was revealed. So, so, so as I leave you today, this is what I, what I want you to know. On, on a Friday, Jesus went to a hill called Golgotha. Yeah, he did. They placed him up high on a rugged cross. Yes, then they stretched him wide. Yeah. They, took a, they took a spear and they pierced him in his side. He died. Yes, he, he died. He went to Hades. Death was trying to keep him down. Yeah. Yeah. But the mighty king, this mighty warrior, death has no ability to keep him down. And if, if you're in Christ, death can't keep you down either. He said, let me have these keys to hell because they belong to me too. And he went to each, each, each cave, each jail cell and opened them up. And he set the captive free. Yeah. So take out the key of your mind and let him set you free. Yeah. But look, it was, they, they took him to a bar tomb to Joseph of Arimathea. Yeah. See, see this, this was a weekend stay. It was really short because the king had something bigger. Yeah. Yeah. He said,
said that they all night Friday. Yeah. All night Saturday. But early, early Sunday morning, he got up. He got up with all power in his hand. I'm talking about all power, not minimal power, the dunamis power, the power that has shake the world, the power that set the lights out in the sun, the power that shook the earth, the power to raise from the dead, the power to take the keys from hell, the power. Oh, we thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Those that are at home, I hope you're getting a taste of what the living God will do. Next week, this door's going to be open. And you better be knocking the door down. Because this thing is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. It's coming. So we trust in the Lord. And we lean not to our own understanding. But in all ways, we acknowledge him. And he will direct our path. We thank you. As I turn it over to our pastor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the message. What a mighty message. I thank God we have endured this dilemma. Yes, sir. We have endured this pandemic. Yes, Lord. It wasn't us. Over 200,000 folk have left this earth since March. People that were well in February are gone now. But then we close this closed door session today. And we're going to open up next week. When we open up, we thoroughly invite you to come. Twenty. 200, the address is 20225 Finkel. 20225 Finkel, corner of Kentville, three blocks west of Evergreen. Come and share and learn of him. We love you. We love you. Although we're open, we're going to be wearing our masks. We have the building sanitized. We have hand sanitizer. And we're going to do the social distances. But come and hear the word of God. Sunday school, 945, morning worship, 11 a.m. God bless you. Come and enjoy this word at Northwestern Community Baptist Church. Not only do we teach, but we preach also. Love you. Bless you. See you next time. In Jesus' name. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we think, according to the power that works, that works through Christ Jesus to the power that's invested in us. And unto him be glory in the church through Christ Jesus throughout all ages, throughout the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.